Make sure when it's good, you do it twice. All right, so we're back here again, and today we're focusing on the Elizabeth. So the Elizabeth is a three bed, two bath unit with an additional den, okay? One of the unique features of this property is there are no wires, there are no light wires, right? So all the electrical facilities have been placed underground, which is really neat. It's a nifty feature. And when hurricane comes, you don't have to worry about the hurricane blowing down the light wires. All right, you're good, you're good. All right, it's a nice modern touch. And I like the fact that they put that touch there and that they thought about all that in designing of the community. So I would like to take a minute to talk to all those persons who are interested in being an Airbnb host. So if you are interested in hosting Airbnb, you do remember that we have an affiliate link in the description box. You can find it, use that affiliate link to sign up. And if you do want our help, you can always contact us by becoming a Patreon member and by also utilizing our email address, which is in the description box below. Let's also give a big thank you to Andrew Duncan for affording us the opportunity to be here today. All right, so if you are interested in this unit, contact Andrew Duncan in the description box below as well. Right, so let's talk about the landscape. I love the fact that the landscape is already done for you. So you can move in and not think about that as an additional cost, an additional effort. Move in ready, that, that is called move in ready, right? You have your grass put down, you have your driveway already paved, going right up to the house. And by the way, what a long driveway, <laughs> right? I love it. I love the length of this driveway. And two, you have a good portion of this driveway that actually has a roof or shelter, right? So you can be out of the harsh sun and out of the harsh rain. I love the fact that they have this this roofing starting from the driveway so on the driveway under the driveway you look up and you see this wonderful wooden ceiling um painted white and it's a wonderful classic feature yes and it continues throughout the home too yes right? it does it continues yes. throughout this unit the and is a sneak peek as to what to expect on the inside yes so this is this is talking about comfort right it's talking about consideration when you have your driveway being covered so you don't have to when the rain is falling and your home be out in the rain running in you can also pull up to your driveway come out with ease and enter your home yes i like that I yes like that point you just brought out as you say yes. when it's raining you just drive all the way in and you can exit your car yes easily without you know getting wet yes i, I really like that i really do like definitely that. And let's talk about the patio at the front. So there are two patios to this unit. And we have the front patio, which is a pretty decent size. Again, we have our wooden ceiling continuing here, yeah, which is the, awesome. The exposed, eh? And we have a good size patio right here. And there's some hint of privacy, isn't there? Yeah. There are hints of privacy that you can be right here, sit down, relaxing, and nobody now, everybody will pass now to see you relaxing, right? I love the hint of privacy that is here. I also love the spacing and you actually have this entrance right here. This is the main entrance. So this unit has two entrances. One that you can enter right from the carport or from the driveway into the primary bedroom and the living space and the living hall. Or you can come through the main area, which is right here on the patio. Let's go to the main area. We have firm doors and we are going with a dark theme as you can see as you enter through the doors we are going with dark themes yeah and natural wood eh? natural natural wood. wood yes as you can see from this lighting fixture right here as well so we are going with a mix of black and white feature uh -huh. in this home yes traditional traditional yes. yes so let's come on in so when we come in we have a window directly to our right, we have our windows and we have a pretty decent living space. This living space is pretty decent. As I can tell you, like, this is a pretty deep couch. Okay? Yeah, lots of space. And a two-seater over there and they're all very decent size. 
So you're getting a pretty good sitting area, conversation area, entertainment area, you're getting a good size entertainment area right here. And I can just envision having you 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 having your um entrance table right there, which is a neat little space to tuck it away. You can do so much with this space. You have an awesome space. Adrian, you can imagine putting up your your um, 70 inch TV on that <laughs> wall. Like that wall would be a good good wall to have a big screen TV on. Definitely. All right. Yes. So I do like the amount of space that you get just for conversation, mm -hmm. just for living right here. This can be a pretty good space for dining. So you can have your dining table right here, and of course you have walking from that area your kitchen and your countertop. So this is a pretty nice countertop. Yeah, it's, it's quite it's, and it is it is very big. Yeah. So it has a lot of space. Um a lot of space for eating, a lot of space for working. I do like the space that this countertop is given. And if you look at if you are somebody that uses your kitchen, you can definitely appreciate the amount of space they've given you to work. All right? So you've, you've been given a lot of space to work. Of course, you have your traditional 30-inch stove space right here. And again, we have our refrigerator, you know, within arm's reach of your workstation. Yeah, I like it. Pretty decent size, I must say. So more than people can be in and have it. When I cook a Christmas dinner, I don't have to be bouncing up into anybody, you know? Unless you really want to, <laughs> you know? So yeah. we have our refrigerator space right here and we have storage space. Now I'm always the one to talk about storage space, aren't I? Because it's huge, it's a huge feature of a home. And this has pretty good storage space. Pretty good storage space. And the covers are actually deep. So this is a pretty yeah. deep cover. So true. you have a lot of space to store away your stuff. It's a good pantry. You know, a good this would be a good pantry a place to tuck away all your food item and to really do some good organizing of your pots and your pans and your plates and your your sauces and your spices and have your little spice rack and you got you got space. You got space to do your thing, all right? You got space to do your thing. I love the fact that they have so much space and that there are there there are outlets convenient to clean. Within yes, reach, right? Exactly, within reach. So you can always plug in vroom vroom vroom. And I love my appearances. I'm a appliance girl. Yes. I'm a gadget girl. <laughs> so then we have our nifty faucet right here. It actually feels pretty good. So it feels it feels nice. Ooh, what a yeah. <laughs> Right? It's an underground sink here. Underground sink. Yeah. You know, That's a feature that yeah, I appreciate too. You like it? Yeah, man. It's a more neat and cleaner look, you know? Yes. More um, upscale. Yes. More modern. More modern. Right. Underground sink. Then we have our windows right here. You know, my love for Lucas had a man was great. So, yes. Window right there over the sink. <laughs> right? So, I love the space that we're getting. Um, this uh, shotgun look. Let's have a look right here. Um, from the back to the front is a pretty good space but let's see what the house has to offer in other areas let's go look at the bedrooms okay all right and you want to start with the, with the den just behind you uh, then okay yes okay mr delpha <laughs> let's go start with the den Wait. never see smoke without fire you want to talk about the den first yeah, eh? I mean, of course of course never so see you, smoke without fire on, uh, you have the, these base moldings continue yes. all the way through or all this space, the design is, is kind of minimal. It's not over the top. It's not, it's not too much, too, too much jar, you know, like jarring to the eye. So even the moldings, not a lot of lines and it's not too fussy. It's just simple and, and neat clean. and clean, right? Yes. Right, so all into. And again, one of the features of this home is we have white accent being white and black, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, so into the den, quite a nice space. A space you can relax. Yeah, there's even a ceiling fan above here, all right, and I'm um, quite spacious, you can, you know, you can do some work from home, stuff like that, quite comfortable. You don't have to be adding on a, an extra room, you know, you can come around and chill, even two windows. Yes. Yeah. Like a little man cave, huh? Exactly, exactly. Like a little man cave. That's yeah, why man. we walk up from here <laughs> first, guys. You can install your big screen TV right here. Yeah. Put that door if you want. <laughs> 
you don't want to block out the intruders you know so you can install a tv right there of uh, course yes and, and then you have you have the added lighting features of this room yeah man so you have two windows yeah man so you're, you're all the way down so the the bedrooms are up that end and you are around here let's say you can install a door here if you wish you know so yeah, quite quite nice. I like it. I definitely like it. Yes, so a really nice feature. Yeah, man. So now we're on to the bedroom that Cass was so anxious to talk to you guys about. So we're going there now. Yes. Okay, guys. So we're going to the bedrooms, and we have the entrance to the bedroom is right here. So it's in between the living and the living room and the kitchen, right? So this is the entrance, and as we enter this space, we're seeing this little walkway or passage right here that is shared between the bedrooms there's two things happening here one we have the bathroom directly ahead of us which is shared between both rooms and we also have our linen closet right here so let's stop at the linen closet first so we have our linen closet which is appreciated because you can store away your mops and your brooms and your coat and any little thing you can tuck away neatly into this space and we have the bathroom right here the bathroom is actually a very good size bathroom as well what i like about this space is that they're not stingy on giving you space to work with we have a den which is a pretty good size if you ask me it can be a bedroom and then we have this huge ba this big bathroom right that is shared in the bathroom right here we have a tub traditional tub with a rainfall faucet coming down we have our um, comfort height toilet right here which is elongated which is definitely modern and then we have countertop space to work with now us girls know we like our countertops we like our space because it gives us room to decorate and room to do our little fanciness in the morning of course this quartz countertop this yes. is countertop right through the home and a big yeah. and a big mirror yeah, right big here big mirror. So it is exceptional. We have our drawers, three drawers right here to store away all of our knickknacks and this big cupboard space right here as well. So storage on point with that. So let's go into the bedrooms. So we have bedrooms on, on either side. Let's start with the left. And of course the primary is opposite over on the other side. Exactly. Me, exactly. Showing the the two bedrooms first. Yeah. So we have so we have the bedrooms here and i like how they have um decorated this space depicting the potential for it they have a huge table over here like this is a nice table to do your homework nice table to do your project and stuff but picture it this can be a entertainment center entertainment area in the bedroom you have spaces here with a big nightstand in the middle quite big i must say with two single beds right here but look at the potential of this room with spaces going around this room is a good size room it's a good size room with two windows and again all and a fan so each room i want to point out that the rooms have fan in it which is awesome because jamaica can be a bit hot being, being in the tropics and all we have right here in the room we have our closet now our closet space i think is pretty wide um and good let's see how deep it is so this is a pretty pretty good space for our closet all right so it's right here so you can already start hanging your um clothes there and it seems pretty firm with a nice firm center right here so bedroom number two is definitely a go we have the vaulted ceiling which is white i love the fact that the trimming continues along the um closet right here which is pretty good it is pretty good um giving you a nice impression right yeah, here nice and right nice here to details, right? yes it is i actually like that it continues up um it gives you a, a difference you know i love the fact that the trimming comes down from the roof as well because it really adds to the beauty of the roof um gives it more flair more pizzazz <laughs> if, if that's the word right let's go to bedroom number one so bedroom number one still has beautiful white doors um let's talk about doors as we enter so we have white doors that basically you know 
is a good feature as we enter and it complements the colors of the wall nicely we come in and right as we come in we can admire the space of this room so this room appears this room is spacious look this is a queen size um with a pretty good side table and the room is room is something to behold yeah you can easily fit a king size inside here you can and you can even with a queen size bed add a chair in this room a little nice little lounge chair um you can have your big furnitures in this room because this is a pretty big dresser so you can have pretty good so you can have pretty good furniture in this space you can basically um have a go at your taste if you like the big furniture them this is the house for you all right so again the ceiling is a wonderful feature in this in this room so we have our white wooden ceiling which is just gorgeous and it has a nice little we call this now babe design shape and it's complemented by the fans so it's really awesome so we have our closet here again which is a pretty good size the closet what i like about here as well is when we look outside we have privacy so we have a nice lush greenness coming off outside which adds privacy to the home without having the harsh concrete and metals looking at so the fact that we have so much greenery surrounding us it means that we're able to relax but we are not substituting it for privacy and that's a really nifty feature so let's go to the primary bedroom so let's start our entrance to the primary bedroom from the living space so right here we have the driveway and right here we have our primary bedroom let's go have a look so this is the primary bedroom and whoa for space whoa it's for huge. space really huge, eh? this is really nice it's really nice so we have our king size bed which is a pretty it's a pretty good size um because as you see you want those buffer you want those bigger sets and we have our big furniture as well complementing the space and we have our chairs i'm i'm, so I'm telling you the type of um emphasizing the furniture in the room for you to see or have an idea of the type of space that you'll be getting um with this particular unit we have our ceiling fan of course which is complementary for each room and we also have our windows two windows that complement this space but i do like i like the space the space here is really nice and it's really telling of you know the type of environment and comfort that you definitely have in this in this unit definitely now when we walk through the primary bedroom we have the closet walk-in closet so we have a really nice title right here to your closet and of course this is your you see this is the you see like how the men probably want to take the den this ladies can be your den okay okay we don't know what they're gonna do but this is our den anyways um so this is a wonderful closet as we exit the closet we see that there is a door right here and this door leads to the patio but let's not go out there quite yet let's go to the bathroom so when we go just a bit further we have the primary bathroom this was a double sink which is nice very 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 suited for a couple um you have space to do your decor put your little trays of course you have your storage spaces right here um with your cupboard space and you have your big glass which is really nice and it's right next to the window look so this bathroom has two windows so which is really nice because it lends a lot of light i know us women like the natural light and we're getting ready so that's really nice so we have a framed shower right here which is pretty sturdy pretty sturdy and it has a pretty decent size shower so this shower is pretty is a good size right rainfall shower again and of course you have the ceiling the feature of the ceiling coming through um where you get the nice white with the wooden roof and it's really a classic feature and i love the fact that they used this color 
on the walls that really allows the white to pop or the white allows the color to pop okay. so let's go to the second patio. Oh, you go to the patio yes so we saw the first patio and that was a pretty decent size and we spoke about the fact that you have the advantage of privacy on that patio but right here is where you ultimately get your privacy so this patio has three doors one that leads to the primary bedroom right here another that leads to the kitchen and the living area right here and another that leads to the washroom now in jamaica we we still use the traditional um, method of hanging our clothes or laundry on the line so it's pretty close to the outdoors where you would have your lying space so you won't have to again be tug tugging it through the house pretty convenient i think here we have our tub which is a pretty neat size we have these doors that open out wide double, door so, for, double doors for washing mirror, right? yes <laughs> So if you need that door to be opened, you know, you can carry a basket in and out freely. We have our nice tub right here with enough spacing for your washing machine. And you can always put your, put your cupboards or your shelves on the wall. And what a unique feature. They actually consider giving you a window. window. That's nice. So this is really nice. So this window is a combination of louvers and French windows. So let's talk about the size of this patio. The size is so convenient for you to have your little table. If you like to play a domino, you like to play a ludi, you want to sit down and just relax with your glass right here. Um, just entertain, just have your conversation. This is a good conversation area, especially when the house is hot. You don't want to run up your AC bill, can you put on your solar system yet? <laughs> you can always hang out here and get the nice cool breeze from outside so the backyard i think is pretty nice so all this would be yours and what i do like about it is that you already have some form of um separation yes, of yes. the properties going on right here yes. so you don't have to put in that big um effort mm -hmm. which is very financially draining of actually building walls yes. around your property so you have some amount of wall space and this this fencing that's that offers you the separation you can always just let your um your little running plants run up if you, so if you, you want more privacy, if you right? so desire for more privacy yeah. without putting all that effort into your pocket you know so you got water tank so every unit comes with your own water tank yes you know in jamaica sometimes we got water lock offs Right, but so you're pretty secured and yeah. it is a pretty good size too so yeah well, all, all of 650 gallons yeah you're good yes. good to go yes. <laughs> and a pretty decent backyard mm -hmm. so if you are an outdoor person if you're a person who likes to do outside activities if your kids like to run around if you have your your dogs you want them to have the space to run around mm -hmm. this is it this is it so let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts on gates of Edgeil elizabeth three bedroom two bath 1009 approximately 1900 square feet and this particular community will boast a swimming pool they will boast rec recreational areas they will also boast 24 hour security as a gated complex also being a owner of one of these units will give you the added benefit of being a member of the golf club and having access to beaches that are close by the benefit for this property is enormous and if we should list them boy boy but think about it basically this property is giving you a lot of benefits and you don't want to miss out so let us know in the comment section are you for a case of edge hill let us know yay so the price of this unit is approximately 299,000 US dollars. Um, of course, our prices are subject to escalation. So bear that in mind. Remember to contact Andrew Duncan. His information is in the description box below. So aren't you loving the Delphi family? We keep you up to date on all the current affairs. We show you all the latest properties. We well, now we are planning to subscribe. Subscribe because when you subscribe, you boast up our audience you 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 expand our reach and we are then able to reach a lot of other persons just like how you 
bumped up on our videos is because other person subscribed so you subscribe and do your part all right give us a thumbs up if you like our content and remember turn on your post notification bell once you have subscribed put the setting on all and i'll see you in the next one bye